You guys might remember a while ago, I made a video about my little yogurt container, food culture, ecosphere, whatever things. And one thing I didn't show in that video is this. This is a reserve of water I've had. It's actually full of life. Like there's isopods, scuds, worms, copepods. It's nuts. So I'm like, let's turn this into like a little nano like swamp tank. I think that could be pretty cool. We can, you know, put it up on this shelf that needs some work. That's what we're going to do. So as always, step one is going to be to gather some materials. So I've got this down here. We've got some sand from an old tank project and we've got some rocks. We can make a little mini hardscape. Uh, we've got some leaf litter in this dog bag here. There we could use that. And we have this stick. Now, I don't really like this stick. I think we're going to go outside and get some more sticks. And we're also going to maybe grab some other plants to put in here. I don't know. Let's, I'm going to go do that. We're going to transfer the contents of this somewhere else temporarily so that I can put like sand in without crushing anything. There's a scud. And I just decided to dump most of this thing out into a yogurt container so we could work with it a bit easier. There's another scud just kind of hanging around in barely any water as they do. And we're dumping out the rest. Look at those isopods. It's honestly kind of ridiculous. Now here what I'm doing is I'm just taking some sand I had lying around and I'm just going to use this to be the sort of sand bed of this little tank. And the reason I'm doing this is just so that there is something to hold our beneficial bacteria just so we're not relying solely on the floaters and it'll make this tank look a little more complete. Obviously these creatures don't produce much ammonia as fish but you know they still produce a bit. If you look on the glass or plastic you can see those little worms. Kind of cool that there's life in here even when I've literally drained the whole thing. Okay, that's our base, you know, not much of a skate. Next, I wanna just add a few rocks just to make it a bit interesting. So here I'm just adding a few rocks to make things a bit interesting. This is the closest you're ever gonna get to an Iwagumi, however the hell you pronounce it, aquascape on this channel. Next up, I'm just gonna chuck some sticks in here. Actually, you know what, no, let's add some leaves next. We got a few leaves here. I'm gonna kind of tear these up. And you know, as we're putting these leaves in here, I'd like to take a moment uh, to give a little message from our local fish wizard. If you're ever going to use leaves collected from outside, ensure that they're properly sanitized in case there's any dog piss on them. Well, thank you, fish wizard. Uh, I think that's an okay amount of leaves. And last but not least, we're going to add some sticks. Well, not last. We still have to, like, plant this thing and stuff. But we're going to just add a few sticks. And here I am just adding a few sticks to make this little hardscape a bit more interesting. All right, I actually quite like that. I find it kind of funny that this looks like some cool, like, nano blackwater scape you'd see on YouTube with, like, a million views. But, uh, yeah, we're not keeping this thing very pretty after this. It's going to have a lot of gunk that I'm adding back into it as I pour this water in. And it's going to look a bit more natural the way I like it. You know, if you don't like that, that's okay. But this is the way I like it, and it's how I'm going to keep this thing, so that's just how it's going to be. Okay, so to fill up the rest of this this, this thing, I, I know some people are probably think, oh, you ruined you ruin the aquascape. I, I don't I don't care. It's supposed to be a swamp. So we have these um, cultures of, of random bugs and bobs from from that other video. They were full of stuff. Yeah, okay, there's there's still uh, copepods in here, and uh, I'm just gonna dump this th these in because they're not they're not you know accomplishing anything just by being around. And this little enclosure is gonna double as a little like food culture thing. Yeah, we could probably you know we could probably uh, let's fill up another one of these. I mean, you know, it doesn't look like much, but it's probably not much. Just because it doesn't look like anything doesn't mean it can't have stuff. And I mean, look at the activity in here already. I don't know if you can see it, but it's cool. Uh, yeah, let's just dump this in. Some scuds and isopods already moving along the bottom of their new home. We, we, got, a, we got a little bit of plant here. Let's just chuck him in you know he can grow or not and, you know i think that that's gonna be that's gonna be good so now i'm just gonna leave this thing for a while let everything settle down and then you know we'll take a look at all the diversity in life that shows up 
There's a scud. And uh, for those of you who are curious, my like motivation for this little project, I had this lying around with like this much water and no matter how low the water line got, there was always still life in there. Those isopods just wouldn't die. I was like, you know what? Let's keep them in here. We can multiply them. We can use them as fish food. That's pretty cool. So up there is gonna be its location for now. I mean, this thing certainly cleared up from when we set it up. There's like an isopod there. I don't know if you can see him. It's kind of just goofing around. But I mean, yeah, this is a pretty, pretty great swamp tank. This is about as natural as uh, an aquarium can get. But yeah, we got some cool stuff going on here. We got isopods, we got scuds, copepods. You know, it's just an interesting little environment. Let's, let's get a look at all sides here. So we've got our isopods there. Get a little zoom, you can see them there. Whoa, scud in the corner. Oh, there's one coming along the bottom. The plan with this thing is just to kind of watch how it grows and develops and then occasionally, you know, take out some critters, creatures, critters, whatever, and use them to, uh, to feed my fish. I think that could be pretty cool. Overall, this is kind of just like another ecosphere project sort of thing I felt like building in a tank because it would be a bit more observable and I figured it could house more creatures. And I mean, already it's really cool and the scuds and the ice pods are both doing very well. And I just, you know, I hope to see how this thing develops more and I'll be updating you guys along with the other two ecospheres slash gyrariums in a future video very soon. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one.